Hello YouTube, my name is Alex and I just want to show you how to properly set up your surround sound where you can just control the volume with your Samsung Universal uh, One Remote, whatever it's called. And uh, so that every HDMI input, including the TV input and the any application like YouTube, Hulu, whatever you got installed, it will work with the surround sound where you can go ahead and increase and decrease the volume. So here it goes real quick. And also the uh, the volume on this one is hooked up to the optical out. So it's not, it's not, um, hold on. So let me just show you. I, I don't have any HDMI inputs installed at all. The only thing that I have is power speakers and, and then the, uh, the optical out. Okay, so here it goes real quick. So due to limitations on the TV software, we're only allowed to set up two home theaters and that only allows us to control the volume on two inputs only. But if you tweak enough with this stuff, with the remaining HDMIs, you can set up everything so that you can control every aspect of the volume using this remote. And uh, this will actually work so that you can increase the volume. You, you might still get the pop-up right there that says auto, audio out optical, whatever. But in this case, I'm going to make sure that this thing actually turns on. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so uh, getting back to the video. So um, the main problem that uh, I normally run run is that the only thing after we're done, we're going to be able just to control the volume on this one, on the on the uh, the old surround sound that I have. It's um, it's it's not a smart. It's a it's an old Sony uh, KS. 360. Yeah, I've had this for many years and I don't want to buy a new speaker, new nothing. You know, I just I just want to keep the same thing. But this one doesn't have any capability. So this only works with with a infrared, you know, remote control. So the uh, main thing how we're going to do this is, you, as he said, just be aware. You, this is just going to stay on and you'll be able to turn the volume up and down when, once we're done. It's rather uh, kind of simple on this, hopefully. So uh, this this is what uh, you have to do on the, on the TV. So um, the first thing is you're going to go to source. And for me, it's easier by number. So I'll just go to HDMI 1 and I'm going to set up a universal remote for this one. Now, because I've done this, I know um, for me, because it's a, it's a, oh my God, it's kind of blurry. There we go. Sorry if I'm shaking and you know, I've never really done that many videos or anything. So um, the first thing I'm going to go to Sony because it's a Sony brand and uh, where I'm going to power test and so, so that I can have the angle of this and hopefully it turns off. So did it did it turn off no but the second one i know that it does so if when i press on this boom you see it just turned off so i note that the second the second one for for my system it might be different for each and every single one of course uh so i know that for me i'll be able to set up i'll be able to set up the uh the system just by by this so so anyway so i went ahead and and chose the the home theater system and i'm gonna select home theater only do not do anything extra or anything. So we're done with this. So my input number one, even though it says Sony and everything, um, I can now control the volume for this one. You see, I can control the volume for this. So now I can mute, I can decrease the volume or increase the volume. As I said, I cannot turn this off. It's It always stays on, but if I turn off the TV, uh, there's no audio going into the surround sound. So, it you know, unless you really want to save power, then you turn it off. If not, you know, just I leave it on all the time. Okay, so anyway, so we're done with the, the first step for HDMI 1. So this one is set up as a surround sound. The second that we're going to be setting up, it's going to be the second one, which is HDMI 2. So we have to change to HDMI 2. We have to change always the uh, input. In this case, I got my, my Chromecast for this. So once I'm in that input, I have to go to Universal Remote. And this is where it gets uh, kind of tricky. So we're going to go to New Device. And instead of choosing Surround Sound or anything, I'm just going with the farthest one, just Blu-ray Player. And all I'm doing is I'm just put all you have to just follow the steps, uh, direct TV only. Okay. And in this case, I don't have a, um, a Blu-ray player or anything. So I just choose the first one and then power test and it did it work. Yeah. Even though it has nothing to do with it. So even though I have this um, second HDMI, I, I cannot control the volume for this one. 
because it's set up as a Blu-ray player or whatever. So the third one, we're going to set up HDMI 3, which is the PS3. And that's and for that one, it's technically the uh, the hub that I got. And, the, and for that one, I have the, the original Wii, the PS3, and the Switch. So anyway, so for this one, we're going to set up the um, Universal Remote as a um, auto game console. So a new device, we add just the new device, and then we go to the second one because we don't want to have two Blu-rays or two auto box, whatever, or set up TVs, whatever. So for this one, I'll just choose Xbox out of the blues. And then uh, did it work? Yes. So now it's going to show as if this is an Xbox console system. So lastly, we go to um, HDMI num number four, which is my, P my PC that's right here. Uh, this is where I run some some movies. So I go ahead and go to Universal Remote. And for this one, we're going to choose the first option, which is the set top box. So anyways, just so you know, I'm just going by Blu-ray, then auto box, then set uh, set top box. You can you can do however you want. You can do HDMI to auto, auto or whatever it's called, the game console or the third one or the last one could be the Blu-ray players, how, however you feel. Just do not choose home theater system yet. So for this one, I'm choosing the set top box and then TV directly. And then because I'm in San Diego, 92154, which is San Diego, and then you have to go in this and choose the 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 my service is not uh, listed right here. My service provider is not listed. So this one, I just grabbed the first one and then channel down and then did it work? Yes. And then done. So as you can see, let me get to the main one. So... As you can see, every HDMI input right now, we have Samsung, Xbox, uh, Comcast, you know. Man, sorry about that. I keep getting phone calls, you know, freaking robocalls. <sighs> anyway, so so getting back, we still, we're still we at the Sony, Samsung, Xbox, and Chromecast, right? So only this input, we're only able to increase and decrease the volume. And let's say if we go to, I don't know, let's go to the xbox input which is the ps3 you see it i'm going up and it says the audio optical out so we can't adjust it or anything so what we have to do is we have to go to this is the 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 main thing you have to go to hdmi one which is the one that we have for the surround sound while we're on this while we're on this input from here we have to go to universal remote and then I know, for example, Xbox, which is HDMI 3, we just press the OK and then use with home theater system. That's it. And then we exit. So right now, check this out, Xbox Sony. So now we do the same thing. We go to Universal Remote and then we'll choose um, Chromecast because it's the second one without this dash Sony. So press the OK and then use with home theater system. And that's it. And then we'll press back. And now, as you can see, it says Chromecast Sony. And then we'll do the same thing again. We'll go to Universal Remote. And then we will do, oh my god, was this so blurry. Then we'll do the, the Samsung. And the same thing, use with home theater system. And that's it. And then press back. So right now, this is the best part now. So HDMI 1, increase, mute. You know, I can turn off the volume. So the second one will go to the Chromecast, which is Samsung Sony. And while we're on this input, yay, I can increase and mute. Then we'll go to the third output which is uh, PS3, there we go. So now I can increase and decrease the volume and mute. And lastly, my PC, increase and mute. And well, we're on, on this input, so yeah. So we got this baby up here. Okay, so now that we're done with this step, uh, now we have to go to the TV the TV input. There we go. And from here, 
Oh my god, I hate that TV show. Anyway, so from here, we have to go to again to Universal Remote while we're on, on TV. And then we're going to select uh, Surround Sound System. So we're going to go to New Device. Because remember, the TV only allows us to have two, uh, two Surround Sound Systems, for example. So in this case, my brand is Sony. In your case, it could be RCA, Pioneer, whatever. Make sure it stays in optical. And like previously before, we power test and then it fails, but the second one works. So I'm going to retry and you'll see. Retry. Boom. And it just turned off. Did it turn off? Yes. So now I just have to press it. I, as, I, as I said, you can't, you can't do anything with it, you know, uh, turning it on, on or off. Um, anyway, so now officially I'm on TV input. I can increase the volume. Sorry if it's blurry. Sorry, guys. But you can see that the volume is going up and down. And then now, for example, I have this application, the, the YouTube TV. While I'm on the application or if I choose regular YouTube, Netflix, whatever applications is available for this, we can actually increase the volume now. And it doesn't matter which input you're you're using. Now it should be fully operational. Now, just just to make it non-confusing, the next step is going to be um, changing the uh, the names, which doesn't take that much. So I'm going to stop the video and press uh, record immediately so that um, we don't lose the the position of the camera. So here it goes. Okay. So now we continue with this. In this case, now we're going to edit. We're going to edit the video, and then we note that the first one is a game console, and then we're going to change the name. To P. S. Four. Pro. Okay, so we're done with this one. Oh, jeez. Sorry, guys. And then make sure you press the OK. And now this one's called PS Pro. The second one we're going to edit. And hold on, I'm going to see if I can change hands. Because it's faster with this. So on this second one, I'm actually going to choose uh, Cable Box. Yeah, it's Cable Box. And then we're going to change the name to Chromecast. Chromecast, and that's HDMI 2. Sorry, guys, if I'm taking too long, by the way. So number three, I'm going to edit this, and I'm just going to put a game console and I just I just uh well I got several ones I can just put uh hub just because you know I actually have Sony and Nintendo eventually I'll get the Xbox this year so if everything goes well and lastly this we edit and then we just go to PC because that's what I have in this case you could have uh, consoles you can name them whatever you want so for this we just uh, once we're done we'll go to we'll go to this input and now that we're all set we can just add to home since HDMI 1 is PS Pro there we go PS Pro and then Chromecast we add to home and and this automatically recognizes it's a Chromecast there we go so you can see the icons changed and then we do the hub which is for the video game and then we just add to home and we know that that's HDMI 3 there we go god I hate this one let me remove remove damn it so now there we have it so now each and every single input the hub which controls as I said several ones look I can increase ink oops crap increase mute whatever you know it's good stuff so now every input as he said if i use the pc if i use the tv whatever there we go so there you have it this is the way that i found the found that easier because as he said 
if you saw how I went ahead and used the surround sound on PS4 Pro input and the TV, but if I try to add a third one, it says that I have to delete one of them. So uh, this one actually worked out real good. So if any questions, leave a comment. I'll try and uh, and see what uh, what happens. Sometimes um, the uh, when, whenever you're choosing the option of the of the use with home theater system, once you have all your input, sometimes it fails. So you just have to go instead of going through the first one, you have to go to each one individually and select use with a home theater. But everything should be fine. So if any questions, let me know. Hopefully this guide will help you out. I with me, it took a while to find out what was the uh, the problem. But as he said, this only works if you have an old surround sound system or or um, you know like an old speaker that works with infrared. And if you're able to set up the universal remote. The Samsung Universal I, what is it called the One Remote, whatever. Uh, in my case, I was lucky enough for this thing to work. So hopefully this will work for you guys. So if any questions, leave a comment or if you like it, well, just press the like. Really appreciate it. All right, guys, have a good one and happy New Year's. Upcoming happy New Year's. See you. Bye.